Want to speak real Turkish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at TurkishClass101.com. Top 10 phrases you'll need for a date in Turkey. Okay, let's start. It's going to be a fun lesson. Benimle yemeğe çıkar mısın? Would you like to go out to a dinner with me? Benimle yemeğe çıkar mısın? Benimle yemeğe çıkar mısın? Would you like to go out to a dinner with me? So, I don't know the other countries, but usually in Turkey, guys ask to girls to go out to a date, usually. But I think maybe like recently it's changing, of course. Maybe girls are also asking. But this sentence, I usually hear from the guys. But this has to be like, how should I say, maybe you're talking for a long time. Not long time, maybe you knew each other well. You talked before and then maybe you can ask this, like, don't just say this to anyone you just met or you had crush. Just first, maybe you talk, you know each other and then you can say, would you like to go out to a dinner with me? And I don't know the answer of the person, but yes. Bu hafta sonu boş musun? Are you free this weekend? Bu hafta sonu boş musun? Bu hafta sonu boş musun? Are you free this weekend? So, if you hear this sentence, probably you will think, um, this person has some feelings for me. Bu hafta sonu boş musun? So, which means that person will ask you to go out. So, if you say yes, evet. Bu hafta sonu boşum. Yes, I'm free this weekend. İşim yok. I have nothing special to do. İşim yok. But if you want to reject the person, then No, I'm sorry. Uh, hayır. Özür dilerim. Özür dilerim. I'm sorry. I have things to do this weekend. Bu hafta sonu işim var. İşim var. Which means I have things to do. This weekend. Çok sevimlisin. You're so cute. Çok sevimlisin. You're so cute. Çok sevimlisin. Oh, it's so romantic here. <laughs> They usually use it for girls. But I think girls actually use it for guys too. Like if they say something funny or something, you know, like joyful, then Girls can also say çok sevimlisin to a guy. We actually have another way to say you're cute. It's çok tatlısın. Girls will probably say like, oh, çok tatlısın ya. Like with this tone of voice to guys. It's just like çok sevimlisin. Uh, almost no difference, I think. Çok sevimlisin, çok tatlısın. It's really like, it's a really nice way to flirt, you know. It's really... Um, A cute sentence. Harika görünüyorsun. You look great. Harika görünüyorsun. You look great. Harika görünüyorsun. So it means you met with the person, right? And now you see this person in front of you and maybe you would like to compliment to the dress or to the cloth that person is wearing. So you can say harika görünüyorsun or like let's say you will say something to your girlfriend this clothes looks good on you this dress looks good on you you can say bu elbise sana çok yakışmış bu elbise means this dress looks good on you sana çok yakışmış harika görünüyorsun bu elbise sana çok yakışmış it will be perfect çok güzel bir akşam oldu. That was a great evening. Çok güzel bir akşam oldu. Çok güzel bir akşam oldu. That was a great evening. Okay, so the dinner is over. Now you're just, maybe you just about to separate. Ah, that was a great evening. Then you say, çok güzel bir akşam oldu. And I think it's better to thank the person. After you say, çok güzel bir akşam oldu. Just go with, teşekkür ederim. Seni arayacağım. I'll call you. 
Seni arayacağım. Seni arayacağım. I'll call you. Well, you can use the sentence I'll call you and grammatically it's not wrong. But I think it will sound like you will not call that person. So it's better to say the exact time. You can say I'll call you tomorrow then. So, yarın seni arayacağım. It's better and it will sound like you're really into that person and you really mean to call again. So just say the exact time, like I'll call you tomorrow morning, I'll call you after I get back to home or whatever, but just say the time, I think it's better. Seni eve bırakayım. I will drive you home. Seni eve bırakayım. Seni eve bırakayım. I'll drive you home. Oh, so you have a car. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow. No, okay. Mm, well, I think it's really kind of you <laughs> to say that. Seni eve bırakayım. Or you can maybe just say, Can I drive you home? Like, you can ask first. So say like this. Seni eve bırakayım mı? Seni eve bırakabilir miyim? Which means, can I drive you home? Like you're asking the permission. Seni eve bırakabilir miyim? Seni eve bırakabilir miyim? It will be more like romantic, I think. So I think in Turkey, usually guys ask uh, in the first date to drive you home. It's very general. It's very... um common like can I drive you home but I'm not sure if the person always accepts it I think it really depends on the person sometimes they do if the date goes well but sometimes they don't but usually you hear the question like can I drive you home seni tekrar görebilir miyim can I see you again seni tekrar görebilir miyim seni tekrar görebilir miyim? Can I see you again? I like that one. That's perfect. It's um not very pushy, not very like full of self-confident, very kind. Can I see you again? Like thank you for tonight. Can I see you again? Seni tekrar görebilir miyim? It's very gentle, I think. Pass for me. <laughs> Başka bir yere gidelim mi? Shall we go somewhere else? Başka bir yere gidelim mi? Başka bir yere gidelim mi? Nereye, nereye gidiyoruz? Ona bağlı tabii ki. Shall, shall we go somewhere else? Where? It depends on where. Mm, so, for example, after your dinner, that your dinner is over, and maybe you would like to walk in the beach after the dinner. Let's say you live somewhere close to beach. And then, shall we go to the beach after our dinner is over? You can ask. But if you just directly say, Başka bir yere gidelim mi? Then probably the person will ask you where, right? It depends on where. So, just be more specific. Like about everything, about time, about the place you go. It will be always better, I think. Burayı nasıl buldun? What do you think of this place? Burayı nasıl buldun? Burayı nasıl buldun? What do you think of this place? Or, um, you don't need to say burayı. Nasıl buldun? What do you think? But instead of burayı, if you put the name of the place you go, like, restoranı nasıl buldun? What do you think about the restaurant? Sinema. Sinemayı nasıl buldun? It's also fine. So, nasıl buldun? This phrase. You can use it with any anything. So, anywhere you go. You can ask this question. Nasıl buldun? 10 phrases you always want to hear. Bugün harika görünüyorsun. You look great today. Okay, the first one. Bugün harika görünüyorsun. You look great today. Wow, well, then it's... 
really um, a great phrase to increase your motivation, I think. You can say it to your girlfriend, um, your mother, I mean everyone you love. So it's, it's a very nice Turkish phrase, I think. It will make everyone happy, believe me. Seni özlüyorum. I miss you. Seni özlüyorum. I miss you. Well, actually, it is a nice phrase and it is kind of sad that you're missing someone. Mm, seni özlüyorum. Uh, or you can say after seni özlüyorum. Seni görmek istiyorum. I want to see you. So it will increase the effect of the first phrase. Seni özlüyorum. Seni görmek istiyorum. I miss you. I want to see you. Harika bir iş çıkardın. You did a great job. Harika bir iş çıkardın. You did a great job. I like to hear that from my boss or from my teacher at school. Harika bir iş çıkardın. Ayın sonunda bir ikramiye verilecek. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. Ayın sonunda bir ikramiye verilecek. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. İkramiye, um, it's a wonderful word, first of all, let me say. And uh, we say bonus too. But the spelling, uh, the pronunciation is a bit different for us. We say bonus or ikramiye. Both are same, same meaning. But I think bonus uh, comes from the English one. But both are, because have the same meaning, you can use both. So ikramiye verilecek. Bonus verilecek. Same meaning. Biraz dinlen. Temizliği bugün ben yapacağım. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Biraz dinlen. Temizliği bugün ben yapacağım. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Oh, it's wonderful. Please do. There are so many things to do, right? I mean, especially uh, in Turkish houses. Like, we have, we like large houses. So there are lots of things to do in terms of cleaning, I think. Cleaning, washing and everything. So if someone tells you like, take a break, I'll do the cleaning today. It's like, oh, thank you, awesome. So, bugün ben yapacağım. Sen dinlenebilirsin. It means you can take a break. Ve sen kazandın. And you win. Ve sen kazandın. And you win. What would you like to win? I would like to win a competition, actually. I like to compete. So you can say someone like who win a competition, a contest. Ve sen kazandın. Or lottery. Like if you win lottery, you can use the same phrase again. Ve sen kazandın. Haklıydın. You were right. Haklıydın. You were right. Um, this is, I'm sure, um, Turkish girls will understand me again because, like, we would like to hear that we are right or Turkish guys think that we'd like to hear we are right. So it is also another cliche phrase in Turkish, like, uh, you want, you just want to hear you're right. Mm, I think that's why they think it will make us happy to hear. Ve sen haklısın, haklıydın, you were right. Sana özel bir şey getirdim. I brought you something special. Sana özel bir şey getirdim. I brought you something special. It can be a present, right? So we say hediye, armağan, both mean present. You can say sana hediye getirdim. Sana armağan getirdim. Or sana özel bir şey getirdim. It will make any person happy to get a present. Sen olmasan ne yapardım? What would I do without you? Sen olmasan ne yapardım? What would I do without you? Wow, well, very romantic, right? So you would like to use this phrase for who? Well, for me, I would like to use it for my mother, actually. Yeah. So I would like to say to her now. Sen olmasan ne yapardım? Ah. Mother, <laughs> hello, are you watching? Yaşını göstermiyorsun. You don't show your age. Yaşını göstermiyorsun. You don't show your age. Um, I know this sentence, I know this one, this phrase makes many people happy. But when I was in Turkey, for example, they always 
um, told me that I don't look my age. So I look younger and I really hate that. I don't know why, because I think in Turkey, we don't have a very like sweet, cute look, but we instead we prefer more like a cool, serious or more like a womanish look. And if I look like a teenager, even though I'm a university student, then I'm not going to be happy about it, right? So I think um, if you say this phrase to everyone, then it doesn't mean that it will make everyone happy. But of course, if you say it to like a maybe middle-aged person, like 30, 40, if you say, oh, you look younger or you don't look your age, then I think it will make those people happy. Yeşinli göstermiyorsun. Want to speak real Turkish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at turkishclass101.com. Let's start with the easiest one. Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. It means thank you. Or literally, I give my thanks. If you want to show your sincere appreciation for something, you can say this phrase. Çok teşekkür ederim. Çok teşekkür ederim. The word çok means very. So this expression means thank you very much. It expresses a deeper appreciation for a personal kindness. When you want to show your appreciation in a more casual way, you can use this expression. Teşekkürler. Teşekkürler. When you want to thank your friends, use this expression. Now you know three different ways to say thank you in Turkish. But how do you respond if someone thanks you? If someone thanks you in Turkish, simply say bir şey değil. It means you're welcome. Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. Listen to the expression and repeat after me. Thank you. Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. Thank you very much. Çok teşekkür ederim. Çok teşekkür ederim. The casual way to say thank you. Teşekkürler. Teşekkürler. And to respond, just say bir şey değil. Bir şey değil. Well done! If you're not sure which one to use, you can just say the casual one. Teşekkürler. It can be used with anyone, anywhere, and at any time. You just learned three different ways to say thank you and how to respond in Turkish. Ten phrases to amaze native speakers. Okay, so let's amaze me. Geçmiş olsun. Get well soon. The first one is Geçmiş olsun Get well soon yeah, I think it's a very basic one, right? When I get sick, if you tell me Geçmiş olsun Selin Then I will be very amazed <laughs> Boş ver Don't mind Boş ver Don't mind Oh, maybe that's my favorite So if somebody, if a foreigner comes to me and say boş ver in my bad mood, then I will be very amazed. Kurt gibi açım. I'm hungry as a wolf. Kurt gibi açım. I'm hungry as a wolf. Um, I'm not sure the, they use this phrase in English. Maybe they don't even use. But it's the exact translation. We use this phrase to make other people understand we are very hungry. Kurt gibi açım. And that's what I am always, all the time. <laughs> ben her zaman kurt gibi açım. It means I am always very hungry. I am always as hungry as a wolf. Beklemekten ağaç oldum. I turned into a tree while waiting here for so long. Beklemekten ağaç oldum. I've turned into a tree while waiting here so long. 
I know it doesn't have any meaning in English, uh, but we are using it to make other people understand that we are waiting here for so long time. So we we turn into a tree. <laughs> I think it's because like the tree has roots, right? So if if tree wants to live, then it needs its roots. So it's gonna be its home. So it means now we have roots. Now it's our home. So we're waiting here so long time, like. That is why we are using this phrase. Beklemekten ağaç oldum. I'm a tree now. Can you see? <laughs> Çok yaşa. God bless you. Çok yaşa. God bless you. Um, we say it when we sneeze. Okay, in Turkish, um, Çok yaşa doesn't mean God bless you. It's not the direct translation. Uh, it means live long. So when you sneeze, we actually wish you a long life. Çok yaşa. Why we do that? <laughs> ne olur? Please, I beg you. Ne olur? Please, I beg you. Like you want to go somewhere very much and you're asking permission from your mom. Uh, mom, I beg you, just once let me go. Ne olur, bir kere gideyim. Or, um, like, for example, there is something you want to eat so much. Uh, you want to taste. Then, ne olur bir kere tadayım. Let me, let me taste once, please, I beg you. Like this. So, not just ne olur itself, but also with the other words and phrases. You can use it together. You can also add ne olur ya, ne olur. But it is more like, um like a like a daily Turkish. It's not maybe grammatically correct, but we use it. Ne olur ya? Ne olur yapayım? Ne olur gideyim? Or ne olur, ne olur? You really want it badly. It sounds like that. Başım şişti. I've got a headache because of the noise. Başım şişti. I've got a headache because of the noise. Hmm, that's maybe, yeah, it's, it looks like a phrase that the parents use. For their children, başım şişti. Or uh, like, for example, somebody listens music very loudly, your friend, and you're kind of angry, like, oh my god, I have a headache because of that. Stop it. You say başım şişti ya, başım şişti. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> falan filan, etc. etc. Falan filan, etc. etc. It's very common in Turkish language. Very, very common. You can use it basically with everything. For example, um, somebody asks you, like, what did you buy from the supermarket? And you say, um, watermelon, fish, um, chips, etc. Then you say, um, let's say, karpuz, uh, chips, falan, filan. You say like this. Uh, you're talking about a situation. You're telling your friend like some story or something happened. Like, oh, okay, he went there and then he bought this. And then this happened, etc, etc. Then again, we use falan filan. So now I will speak Turkish. I will to give an example. Um, i̇şe gitmiş, patronuyla konuşmuş, hasta olmuş, eve gelmiş. Falan filan. It means like he went job, he talked with the boss, and then he got sick, he went back home, etc., etc. So you can use like this too. Yok artık. No way, really? Yok artık. No way, really? It shows that you're very surprised at the situation. You cannot believe it. Like yok artık. Or um, like... You're very shocked with the amount of something. Uh, let's say your friend bought five bags. Like she went shopping and she she bought five bags. And you say, yok artık. It's like too much. Did you buy five bags? Ne güzel. How lovely. Ne güzel. How lovely. For example, if you say, what a nice weather. Then you say, ne güzel bir hava. Then it becomes like, 
how nice, how nice weather. Uh, or if you say, ne güzel bir kız, what a lovely girl. Or one more example, if you say, ne güzel bir hikaye, you say, what a good story. So it has many meanings actually, it depends on where you use the phrase. 10 questions you should know. Okay, let's start with the most basic one. Adın ne? What's your name? Adın ne? What's your name? Benim adım Selin. Senin adın ne? My name is Selin. What's your name? Nasılsın? How are you? Nasılsın? How are you? I think it is important to know this sentence because we usually ask each other how are you, how is going, so please know that one. Nasılsın? Ben iyiyim. Sen nasılsın? I'm good. How are you? Nerelisin? Where are you from? Nerelisin? Where are you from? Especially Turkish grandmothers, they ask a lot about this question because like, of course not the country, I mean the city. Where are you from? Which city? Like, because they want to know everything, right? So I'm sure you'll hear this phrase a lot if you go to Turkey. Nerelisin? Nerelisin? Where are you from? Ben Antalyalıyım. Sen nerelisin? I am from Antalya. Where are you from? Doğum günün ne zaman? When is your birthday? Doğum günün ne zaman? When is your birthday? Benim doğum günüm 16 Ağustos. My birthday is August 16. Senin doğum günün ne zaman? When is your birthday? Nerede yaşıyorsun? Where do you live? Nerede yaşıyorsun? Where do you live? Ben Antalya'da yaşıyorum. Sen nerede yaşıyorsun? I live in Antalya. Where do you live? Nerede çalışıyorsun? Where do you work? The next one is Nerede çalışıyorsun? Where do you work? Ben otelde çalışıyorum. Sen nerede çalışıyorsun? I work in a hotel. Where do you work? Telefon numaran ne? What's your phone number? Telefon numaran ne? What is your phone number? Well, don't accept from me to say my phone number. <laughs> but actually, if you if you want to become with a Turkish person, then you ask like after after some chat, you ask the phone number usually, right? Like, oh, what is your phone number so we can talk? But nowadays, I think people usually ask, do you have Facebook <laughs> or do you have WhatsApp like this? Uh, and you can ask in Turkish like this. Facebook kullanıyor musun? WhatsApp kullanıyor musun? It means like, do you have Facebook? Are you using Facebook? I think it's more natural nowadays to say in Turkish if you want to if you want to become friends with someone. Türkçe nerede öğrendin? Where did you learn Turkish? Türkçe nerede öğrendin? Where did you learn Turkish? Türkçe benim ana dilim. Sen Türkçeyi nerede öğrendin? Turkish is my mother tongue. Where did you learn Turkish? Çok güzel konuşuyorsun. You speak very well. Türk yemeklerini seviyor musun? Do you like Turkish food? Türk yemeklerini seviyor musun? Do you like Turkish food? Evet, Türk yemeklerini seviyorum. En çok sarmayı seviyorum. Yes, I like Turkish foods. And my favorite is sarma. Do you know sarma? Sarma is like cabbage roll or grape roll. So you stuff and wrap like leaves and you put meat or rice inside. It's a very delicious Turkish food. Türk yemeklerini seviyor musunuz? En sevdiğiniz Türk yemeği ne? What is your favorite Turkish food? Kaç yaşındasın? How old are you? Kaç yaşındasın? How old are you? 26 yaşındayım. Sen kaç yaşındasın? I am 26 years old. How old are you? How to say I love you in Turkish? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say it. 
Let's start with how to express your feelings to your loved one. Seni seviyorum. Seni seviyorum. Seni seviyorum. Or if you want to explain those butterflies in your stomach, you can say Senden hoşlanıyorum. Senden hoşlanıyorum. Senden hoşlanıyorum. And when you feel that I love you is not enough, you can say Sana olan sevgimi kelimelerle tarif edemem. Sana olan sevgimi kelimelerle tarif edemem. Sana olan sevgimi kelimelerle tarif edemem. You just learned three different ways to say I love you in Turkish.